Welcome to week three of BA 200, uh, Management of Aging Services Overview. Uh, this week we're, we're focusing on the senior housing environment. Uh, there are a list of, of websites to visit, and in particular I, I picked out some of the companies that I feel like do a, a good job and think it would be worthwhile for you to go ahead and take a look at a, a few of those companies. Uh, get a feel for their website and try to try to get a sense of, of who they're positioning themselves to market to. Also try to get a feel or a sense as you look at those websites uh, as to whether or not these are environments that you yourself might recommend somebody to live in. The intentional community websites really uh, represent a movement that started uh, back in Boston and it was a movement where older adults basically said, look, we don't want to leave our neighborhood, so what can we do to bring goods and services to our houses so that we don't have to, to leave? And they developed association, uh, an association that allowed them to do that. This, this movement has grown nationally, and there are many intentional communities popping up around the nation. A similar concept is something called NORCS, N-O-R-C-S. Uh, that stands for Naturally Occurring Retirement Communities. These, these also are, are collections of communities that tend to have a high percentage of older adults living in them, and their focus is, again, to bring goods and services to where they currently reside so that they don't have to relocate. I've uh, uh, referred all of you to a website called uh, helpguide.org. And it's a, the reason I did that is they, they just do such a nice job of explaining the different kinds of senior housing environments as, as well as, as the pay structures for those environments. So uh, it didn't make sense to me to recreate the wheel. So please, please review that thoroughly and know that the, that material, some of that will be on a quiz or, or a test. Uh, this quarter. Thank you for turning in all your discussion questions and assignments in a timely way. I, I think we hopefully will be able to change the assignments to electronic assignments in the coming week. My email is full, as you might imagine, with, with uh, attached assignments and lots of discussion questions to grade. So hopefully I'll get grading caught up uh, within the next few days and you'll be able to access your grades through the gradebook site on Blackboard. I think that's about it for the overview for, for this week. Uh, please continue to complete your discussion questions in a timely way and uh, get your assignments in. And have a good week.